When it comes to overclocking, it's pretty easy to speed up your system, but often at the trade-off of increasing internal temperatures. So is it better to stick with stock speeds for temperature's sake rather than overclocking to increase performance? To test this, I ran Cinebench, a CPU rendering benchmark, and also I rendered a 4-minute video in Premiere Pro with lots of stabilization effects and color corrections, and then I timed how long the video took to render. All of this was done on my Intel Core i7-5820K, which is a 6-core 12-thread processor. I managed to overclock this processor from the stock speed of 3.3 GHz to 4.4 at 1.295 volts. This is a 25% faster stock speed, and I'm hoping it'll do well. If you want to watch the video I rendered, I'll have an annotation up right now, and it'll also be put in a link in the description. So let's move on to see how the CPUs fared in the Cinebench benchmark. As you can see, the overclock CPU running Cinebench had a score of 1,259 versus the 999 of the stock speed CPU. Here we see a 26% increase in performance, but also at the cost of a 41% increase in temperature. So for every extra point on Cinebench, you get 1.12 more degrees Celsius in temperature. Here are the results for the Premiere Pro rendering, and here we see a 21% increase in the rendering speed going from 3 minutes and 40 seconds with the stock speed to 3 minutes and 8 seconds with the overclock speed. Keep in mind that the speed difference will increase with the length of the project you're rendering. However, temps were increased by a full 50% from the overclocking. So for every extra second save, you get 1.24 more degrees Celsius in temperature for your CPU. So in conclusion, overclocking should only be done if one is aware of the temperature trade-offs. So should you do it? Of course, if you have the proper cooling solution to keep temperatures safe. Overclocking warrants a lot better performance at a higher temperature, but if you're a true enthusiast, you probably wouldn't mind the temperature increase. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video, and be sure to subscribe and comment for more weekly tech videos like this. Anyways guys, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.